प्लीज बीवेर पास्ट परफॉर्मेंस इज नेवर एन इंडिकेटर ऑफ फ्यूचर रिटर्न हेलो एंड नमस्ते आई एम मनीषा ओजन दिस इज पेचेक टू प्रॉफिट इंडिया फर्स्ट यूट्यूब चैनल डेडिकेटेड टू योर फाइनेंशियल फ्रीडम हेयर आई मेक वीडियोस ऑन एवरी फोर्थ फोर्टीन एंड ट्वेंटी फोर्थ ऑफ एवरी मंथ आई मेक देम इन इंग्लिश एंड हिंदी सो दैट यू कैन चूज टू वॉच द वीडियो इन लैंग्वेज ऑफ योर चॉइस आई मेक वीडियोज ऑन पर्सनल फाइनेंस फाइनेंशियल मैनेजमेंट पोर्टफोलियो मैनेजमेंट हाउ टू मैनेज योर मनी सो दैट यू कैन अचीव योर फाइनेंशियल फ्रीडम थ्रू योर पे चेक इन द लास्ट फ्यू वीडियोज आई हैव बिन टॉकिंग टू यू अबाउट द एंटायर इंडस्ट्री एंड investment option of mutual funds i have started right from the smallest point of what exactly is a mutual fund how does a mutual fund corporation or a mutual fund house work uh, how does a mutual fund manager actually buy mutual funds for the investors what are sips how you should invest in mutual funds why you should invest in mutual funds how to begin what are the documents required i have covered all of this if you haven't seen this video please make sure that you check the description of this video where i'll be sharing all the links of the videos that i just mentioned to you if not the links i'll just probably share one link of a playlist which will include all the videos in a chronological order including this one having said that if you haven't subscribed to this channel already please consider to subscribe right now and uh, hit the bell icon so that you can get notifications on every youtube video that i come up with if you are new to this channel welcome thank you for visiting us please subscribe and i'll make sure that i make the subscription worth it for you as i said this journey of mutual fund started right from the first video i where i told you what exactly is a mutual fund and how does a mutual fund corporation work in this video i'm going to talk to you about a very important topic which is how do you actually buy a mutual fund having all the knowledge of what exactly is a mutual fund how does a mutual fund corporation or a mutual fund house work having all this knowledge is essential it really helps you to make those decisions and be secure about your investments but if you have all that information but you actually never invest your money in a mutual fund how will you ever profit out of it how will you actually work towards your financial freedom and how will you actually attain that sense of security of your finances if you don't start your investments So in today's video I'm going to tell you everything that I know and I'm going to give you all the tips and hacks that you may need to understand how exactly do you buy a mutual fund how do you even understand what are the differences between mutual fund A B C and D and which one suits your investment portfolio the best the first and the most important point that you must consider before you actually make an investment in your mutual fund is to understand what exactly is your reason for making this investment in this particular fund and more importantly what exactly is your time frame that you have at hand if you are making an investment which you would want to liquidate in 3 to 5 years the kind of mutual fund that you would pick would be completely different from the mutual fund that you would invest in just in case if you are actually investing for your retirement funds so just to give you a very small recap mutual fund as a concept is where multiple investors like you and me come into a particular place we put all our money that we want to invest in a fund and that entire pool of funds is then used by mutual fund managers to invest in multiple securities and investment opportunities like bonds equities etc so depending on the fund that you are investing in the mutual fund manager will give you a probability of this fund will invest 70% in debt and 30% in equity or 60% in equity 40% in debt so depending on your risk taking capacity and your investment focus you would buy funds which suit your investment style the best the details of all the investments that would be made by mutual fund manager for a particular mutual fund are clearly described in the nfo document which is also the new fund offer document which is actually issued at the time of mutual fund starting so just in case if you are investing in an already available mutual fund you can check the mutual fund website or mutual fund information is available at tons and tons and tons of places so once this pool of funds is formed mutual fund manager starts picking up a small amount of this fund and investing in different investment opportunities and the entire report of all these investments and trading is submitted by the mutual fund house on regular basis to sebi and amfi in simple terms sebi and amfi are two government regulated bodies which actually make sure that mutual fund houses are working as per the law and the money that is invested by the investors in a particular fund is being kept safe and is being treated in an ethical manner mutual funds as a investment opportunity is so flexible that there are multiple mutual funds which could 
choose to invest only in a particular industry or in a particular sector like pharmaceuticals infrastructure real estate automobiles etc you as an investor can take advantage of this opportunity depending on if you have more information of a particular industry let's say if you're working in automobiles you understand how automobiles as an industry works or if you're working in hospitality so you have a very good idea of aviation travel and tourism so you can choose to pick mutual funds which invest in areas or industries which you are already comfortable with and based on your knowledge you perceive this particular industry to create better future better profits in the future to make mutual fund investment all the more simpler amphi has come up with a simple guideline which has made mutual funds investing a lot more easier since july 1st 2015 Amphi made it compulsory for mutual funds to rate their mutual funds on a scale of riskometer. As you can see on the screen right now, riskometer is a very easy to understand tool which helps you understand the risks involved on your capital if that capital is invested in this particular fund. The risk scale on the riskometer as you can see fluctuates from low risk to high risk. What this actually means is just in case if you are an absolutely new investor and you have no idea with regards to how does equity, derivatives, bond market work and yet if you want to invest in mutual funds you can just go through the offer document and you can see the riskometer which will give you a fair idea of how your money will be used and invested by the mutual fund manager once you've put your money into the mutual fund now that you know that a mutual fund manager is liable to tell you where exactly is your investment going to be used with regards to debt and equity percentages and you know that a mutual fund will invest in a particular industry or a particular sector and you also have riskometer to help you with the risk involved in the investment now overall your investment opportunity becomes a lot more easier and your overall psychological impact of investing becomes a lot more simpler because now you know where you are putting in your money this is why i have always been telling you right from my first video regarding mutual funds that mutual funds is the most dynamic easy to invest and an absolutely favorable investor friendly way of investing having said that you also have multiple ways to check whether your investment in mutual funds is working as needed or not every mutual fund can easily be compared to the benchmark of let's say nifty 50 or sensex which tells you if the mutual fund manager is investing your money responsibly or not let's say if your money was giving you good or better returns as compared to your mutual fund in sensex why would you want to put your money in a mutual fund just investing it in sensex is a lot easier cheaper and it would give you a better result hence a mutual fund manager would always try his best to invest in a particular portfolio which would have better returns as compared to the benchmark rates of nifty and sensex i know this could actually sound extremely overwhelming for a new investor i know this may also seem difficult but trust me once you start investing it is not that difficult you just need to make sure in which mutual fund you are investing and i have shared all my tools with you which i myself used to come to a conclusion of how do i select my mutual fund just look at the bifurcation of how the mutual fund is going to invest in different industries different options of debt and equity and what exactly is the riskometer saying invest in mutual funds which you understand or the industries of which you understand keep a note on the performance of the mutual funds with as compared to the benchmark also you may choose to check the past performance of a mutual fund to make sure that the mutual fund house is doing a good job with your investments but please beware past performance is never an indicator of future returns i hope this video has added some value and you've now got all the information that you need to start investing in mutual funds there's a reason why i actually make this literacy videos financial literacy videos because i don't want to start just giving you tips if i could have told you go and buy abc mutual fund today 6 months down the line maybe my perception of that abc mutual fund would have changed maybe the mutual fund manager is not doing a good job or maybe i come across an xyz fund which is much better than abc fund that's precisely the reason why i decided to start paycheck to profit where i can start talking to you about financial literacy and financial freedom rather than talking to you about investment opportunity or investment possibilities i hope this video has added value 
If you've liked this video, please do not forget to like the video and share it on all your social media platforms. I'll now see you in the next video. Until then, keep smiling. Please take care of your loved ones and stay happy. Kaching!